Are you starting a business or looking to expand your business with new product offerings? In order to get your image onto some socks, we'll show you what you need and how to do it with Epson dye sublimation technology. In order to get your printed image onto some socks, here's what you need. A 24 inch wide Epson F570 dye sublimation printer, some scissors, heat transfer tape, a pair of blank sublimatable socks, a heat press 20 by 25 inches or larger, and some craft paper. Once you have the finished design for your socks, this is how you send them to the F570 printer. For Windows users, click the print button. Check choose paper source by PDF page size if it is not already checked. Choose properties. Select the media type setting that matches the paper you loaded. If you want to use paper settings that have been set in the printer's control panel, select Use Printer Settings. Click OK, then click Print to send the file to the printer. For Mac users, click the Print button. Check Choose Paper Source by PDF Page Size if it is not already checked. Click Printer. Choose Printer Settings. Select the media type setting that matches the paper you loaded. If you want to use paper settings that have been set in the printer's control panel, select Use Printer Settings. Click Print, and click Print again to send the file to the printer. And now we're ready to cut our paper down to size. And now we're ready to tape our sock in place onto the print. We have two prints for each sock so that we can transfer onto both sides. We'll use a couple of pieces of heat transfer tape, and we're ready to press. Before we place our socks onto the press, let's place a sheet of craft paper first. Take our sock design, and we'll flip it so the paper is on top. We'll set another sheet of craft paper, and we're ready to begin pressing our first side of the sock. We're pressing at medium pressure, 400 degrees for 60 seconds. When the timer is done, it will alert us, and then we can prepare the second side of the sock. When the press is done, lift it up slowly. We'll remove our craft paper. We'll flip our item over, and we're gonna remove this first side of paper so we can attach our second side of paper. We'll tape this side on just like we did on the first side. We will flip it back over so that we have paper on top. Grab our sheet of craft paper and begin pressing the second side. Once the press is done, open it slowly. We'll remove our craft paper and let's set this off to the side. So now we just need to remove the heat transfer tape. And we're done.